An historian charges Atlanta leaders have rewarded criminals by removing a Confederate monument from a cemetery. Vandals have repeatedly damaged the statue of a lion. Now that critic, who is a member of the Sons of the Confederacy, believes the removal will show vandalism succeeds. Fox 5's More Stigs reports from the site with new images. In the late 1890s, mothers and widows of Confederate soldiers pulled their funds to hire a sculptor to create the lion here in Oakland Cemetery. If their surviving descendants could see what's gone on in the last couple of years, undoubtedly, they would be disgusted. On one morning, cemetery staff found the Confederate monument barely visible. So much paint had been poured all over it. And it angers me that, that you, you have this lack of respect for a grave site, in this case particularly, but also to a memorial from the community. To my Historian Ernest Blevins, a member of the Sons of Confederacy as well as Union soldiers, commented on the Atlanta City Council vote to take the Lion of the Confederacy out of the downtown Oakland Cemetery. At least eight times, someone has gone past the security fencing around the Lion. This image was captured at 3 a.m. one morning, very suspicious says city leaders. In addition to paint, the face of the lion has been cut by a tool believed to be a pickaxe. The historian urges Atlanta leaders to leave the lion on the grounds where so many Confederate soldiers are buried. It sends a message that if you vandalize it enough, it will go away, which is what a lot of people would like to see. Blevins asked this question, what if supporters of Confederate symbols decided to desecrate symbols thought to be significant by another community? It becomes a tit for tat thing and both lose respect for each other's monuments. So it's, it's going to spiral into something more. Oakland Cemetery has hired extra security, but if they can't just stand there like 24 hours a day, it's just been this ongoing thing over and over and over, and that's why it needs to be moved. The councilwoman tells me that already some $30,000 has been spent trying to restore the lion. Where is it going from here? Well, that's a secret. They want to protect it. They don't want anybody to follow it. Reporting from Oakland Cemetery, I'm Morris Diggs, Fox 5 News.